Okay, guys, we are going to have a look at the latest version of MineExpress. That's the 4.33.15.28. And we're going to have a look at, let's say, the most important new features of this version. Now, I'm going to start out by showing you um, I'll quickly type a sentence here and we'll immediately show one of the new features. Like that. Okay, now in the document preferences, we've added an option. You will see that this window has slightly changed. Um, and we've added an option uh, that is a highlight while reading. You can optionally specify a different color if you want. And what this does is if you read the letter... What a nice day for a new version. You can see that uh, there is now word highlighting when the uh, message window is being read. So this can be very handy for some applications or for some exercises. So um, that's pretty easy and it's on a per document basis. So you can decide uh, I want to do this on, in this document, but I don't want to do this in another document. So simply document preferences, highlight while reading. Another thing we've added is under tools options, you have a new option that is called home button. If I activate it, I can select a document. In this case, let's say I'll pick and choose whatever document you'd like that is in your uh, media library, but I'll take Amigo for now. And you will see that in the upper right corner, there's a small icon that appears. And if I click this button, it will always go back to my page that I've, or my document that I've specified under home button. So if I go to a different document and I want to go back to Amigo, I can simply click on the home button and the Amigo page will open up. Now, not only that, but you can also make a new action. So if I go to the editor and I go to the action open document you will see that I can select a home document as well so I can also make a cell that goes to the home document that can be useful if you have a very big file that links to a lot of different files it might be interesting to have a home document instead of because if you change the, the basic document or, or the base document then you would have to change all the links um, and you don't have to do that with the home document button because you can simply change the home document in one place and then all the actions that have go to home document will go to that new home document. So that's, that's quite an interesting option. Um, so under options, tools, options, and then home button. Okay. Um, let's go back to Amigo now. And I want to show you the biggest change in the new version and that change is a completely new um, internet add-on and as you can see already that the YouTube page now in Amigo has changed and it's a lot more user-friendly and allows us to like for example if I want to go and look up the trailer for uh, the Dunkirk movie I can just search and then I can use these buttons to go and select the YouTube movie I want. I can enter, and then the movie starts playing. And I even have a pause button. What has happened is a colossal military disaster. So with with this new version we have, or with the, le with, with the latest internet plugin, we support a lot of newer sites that we did not support in the in the past. And another thing I want to show you is, for example, if I go to the Jabla page and um, in the internet page of Amigo, we've, I've added some new options. Uh, for example, we now have the possibility to navigate your links more easily. So you have a link down and a link up so you can more easily go to the link that you want to select. Otherwise, you have to click next link, next link, next link, and you would have to click uh, like, like 50 times before you were in the spot that you wanted so now that's no longer the case 
so that's that's really uh, nice so but you will also see that a lot of newer web pages that would not load in the old version of mine express will now or should now load okay another thing that we've added like here on the bottom this is actually a dynamic list now um, suppose that I don't want the back and stop button for a certain user I can now go to tools dynamic list go to this dynamic list and you will see that in the dynamic list there are now checkboxes in front of every item now if I unselect some of the items like I don't want the back and the stop button for a certain user I can just deselect them click OK and you will see that the buttons will have gone okay now if at one point the user decides okay I want these items back then you can simply go back here just reselect them there you go so you don't have to delete them from the dynamic list you can just say okay I want to make them invisible and then later on I want to reactivate them now this is of course also very interesting for a vocabulary so if I go to this other example I have a dynamic list up here with 12 different kinds of fruit. Now suppose that some of the vocabulary is too complicated for my user, like for example raspberries and blackberries, then I can just now go to dynamic lists, go to my fruit list, and I can just say, okay, don't show me the raspberries and the blackberries. Okay, and there you go. So if later on the user decides, okay, or, or the therapist decides, okay, I want to add more vocabulary, then he ju can just go to the dynamic list, just say, okay, they're already there, just check them, and they're good to go. So that's, that's a really nice thing to have now. Okay, another thing we've added is, you see page indicators here with a little arrow. Now we've changed, we've added something in the style. So if I edit this style, you will see that I now have a page indicator folder. This means that every cell that is jumping to a different page will uh, now be displayed as a folder like this okay when we even have um, let me check uh, so you have this as a page indicator you can choose none arrow or folder and you, you also have a shape called folder so even if a, a cell is not jumping uh, to a different page but you still want to have the folder shape you can now also choose the folder shape like that okay um, we will see this in a moment in a different um, document so I will open up another document it's this file and I will show you immediately one of the other new features so now uh, you know that some of the documents can be protected with a code now we've added the possibility um, to have uh, a, or, or to hand out web codes to users so the web code is actually a pre-activated code and you can just give a user the protected document along with the web code he doesn't need you anymore to activate the document he can just enter the document there is no more interaction between you or the user he can just enter the web code the code is checked on the internet like that it's immediately activated and you can start working um, so just you know that there's now the possibility to activate your documents using web codes now you can also see in this file there's extensive use of the new folder um, folder option for page indicators and the last thing I want to show you is if um, this is a small change but if you go to a pop-up page now the background is grayed out because you can't click on the background and some users found that very confusing and now the background is grayed out and you can just work in your pop-up and then go back and then the background turns normal again so I guess that concludes that's a quick overview of all the new features or the major new features so if you have any questions um, just check out the new version it's up there for you to download and um, well have fun <laughs>